Hi, my name is Dr. Phil Hong Nguyen, and I'm the owner and medical director of Happy Clinic. So you've been hearing a lot about Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro on the news lately. And I'd like to give you my own perspective with these medications. Let's start with, how does Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro work? These are a new class of FDA-approved medications called GLP-1 receptor agonists that are thought to target one of the biological causes of obesity, overactive hunger signals. Every time you eat, your body produces a hormone called GLP-1. Its purpose is to increase insulin in your body to help you absorb the food digesting in your stomach. This is also the hormone that tells your brain that you're full and to stop eating. Some people just don't make enough of GLP-1 after they eat, so their brain never feels full, and they continue to overeat, leading to obesity. Ozempic, Wigova, and Majaro have these advantages to help patients lose weight and control their diabetes. Number one, Ozempic, Wigova, and Manjaro are all injectable medications given once a week. Similar to an insulin shot that diabetics get, however, the effects of the medication last a whole week, so you don't have to worry about everyday dosing. Number two, Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro makes you feel full all the time because it targets one of those biological causes of obesity, overactive hunger signals. So eating just four to five different bites of food during a meal is enough. The food tastes the same, but your desire to eat more is not there at all. Number three, Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro helps you control your obsessive thoughts about food. I know in the past I used to plan every meal where and what I want to eat, even while I was still eating. I was planning my next meal. Ozempic Wagobi Majaro gives you your control back from these obsessive thoughts about food. Number four, you can continue to exercise and function normally while on Ozempic Wagobi Majaro. In my experience on the medication, the first 24 to 36 hours, I felt a little bit more tired than usual, like after eating a big Thanksgiving meal. So if I felt sleepy, I just took a nap for an hour, and then I felt refreshed after that. Number five, more mental clarity. You don't get the highs and lows of sugar spikes associated with meals. Sugar spikes cause tiredness and sleepiness and inhibit your mental clarity. Number six, less bowel movements. One of the consequences of eating less. I would normally have one twice a day but after the shot, I started having one bowel movement every other day. Number seven, I sleep better. Unlike other diet medications that may make you jittery and impair sleep, Ozempic, Wagovi, and Manjaro actually helps you to sleep better because it mimics the hormone released after eating a big meal. Think of Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner. Don't you just want to fall asleep on the couch after a big meal? Now on to the side effects. Number one. Bruising and tenderness at the injection site is common, so no big deal. Number two, tiredness. I noticed the first 24 to 36 hours after the shot, I was unusually tired, so I took frequent naps. This makes sense because it's the same hormone that's released after you eat a big meal, making you tired. Number three, loss of appetite. This is definitely the side effect that you want. It helps to control our cravings for food all the time. I feel like I have a new relationship with food. I eat to live as opposed to live to eat. I would make myself eat or else I wasn't hungry. But after five or six bites, I didn't want to eat anymore. I had a veggie tray in my refrigerator with carrots, celery, broccoli, bell peppers, and hummus in the fridge that was often my meal. I would eat four or five sticks of veggies dipped in hummus and drink a glass of water, and I was full. I didn't think about food all the time. I think this was the first time in my life where my thoughts didn't center around when and what my next meal would be. Food still tasted good to me when I ate it, but I didn't crave it. I would walk by a bag of chips, no problems. I'd watch a Papa John's pizza commercial on TV, no problem. I didn't have that desire to get on my app and order a pizza. In fact, other addiction feelings I had like flying to Vegas and playing the slot machines, simply didn't feel as strong or enticing. The only thing I can relate it to is that as I got closer to my 40s, I realized that uh, 
my sex drive was slowing down and so I thought less about sex. Same way with these medications, you're not thinking about food all the time. So you have time to think about other things like your loved ones, hobbies, work, whatever you want to think about that makes you happy. Number four, weight loss. In the first seven days of using Manjaro, I lost nine pounds. I didn't understand it. I exercised like I normally would, but the decreased appetite really made a huge difference in my caloric intake versus my caloric outtake. I would eat a third to a quarter of what I would normally eat at meals and I stopped snacking altogether. The medication helped me to walk away from food or opening the refrigerator out of boredom. Number five, nausea and vomiting. I did experience a little bit of nausea just because of the loss of appetite, but it wasn't intense. I had no symptoms of vomiting. These symptoms affect less than 10% of patients, and at the low starting dose, these symptoms are infrequent. Some of my patients did experience this if they did eat and drank alcohol together. So do be careful and limit your alcohol consumption so you don't get nausea and vomiting. This is Dr. Phil Hong Nguyen with Happy Clinic. Please like, subscribe, and ask any questions you have about the medication, and I'll be sure to answer them in my next video. Thank you.